In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for C3H8O. In this case, we're talking about isopropyl alcohol or propen-2-ol. So let's count up our valence electrons first and then we'll work on the structure. Carbon is in group 14, has four valence electrons, three carbons, plus hydrogens group one, but we have eight hydrogens, and then oxygen group 16, six valence electrons for a total of 26 total valence electrons. So let's put our three carbons in a row here. And then we have eight hydrogens and one oxygen. So this is an alcohol. That means it's going to have an OH group. Here's our oxygen and hydrogen. In the picture, we can see it's stuck on the central carbon here. We can look at the name here, ISO. That tells us that it's going to be on the central carbon. But this two here also tells it's on the one, two. It's on the second carbon. So we know that our oxygen will be here on this carbon. So let's put our hydrogens out here. And I've left this central carbon here because we have to put our oxygen here. And then bonded to that oxygen, we have our hydrogen. So that OH group, that's what makes this an alcohol. Let's put our H on, and then let's tighten this up a little bit. So we said we had 26 valence electrons. We'll put those between atoms first to form the chemical bonds. At this point, we've only used 22 valence electrons, and we know that we have 26. If we look at the hydrogens, they all have two valence electrons, so they're okay. The carbons, they all have eight. They're fine. It's this oxygen here that only has two, four. So we have four more valence electrons. Let's put two on either side of the oxygen. These will be lone pair or unbonded electron pairs, and that'll complete the octet on the oxygen atom. So that makes this the structure for isopropyl alcohol. You could write this as a structural formula and you'd replace these bonds with just lines representing the two electrons. You would though leave these by themselves as lone pairs since they're unbonded. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for isopropyl alcohol and thanks for watching.